Hey beautiful people, welcome to Wilder Path Farm. Here we're located in Northern Canada where we do homesteading, gardening, and everything in between. I'm inside currently. So right now I'm just planting some seeds. So this is kind of my setup. It may look chaotic, but it's actually like very organized. So everything I've planted, things that need to be planted based on like what they are, tomatoes, herbs, brassicas, this is just a basket of seeds. Also, um, oh, there's the alarm. That that alarm's to go check peach. But um, Alexa, turn off alarm. So that is my seed collection. And then we have some trays and things here. Um, labels as well. I've started some huckleberries and some peppers, but with that alarm, we gotta go check on Peach. Because Peach is looking very, very close to kidding right now, so we are checking her often. Hi, Peachy. How you doing? So her hind end is super swollen. Around her tailbone is sunken in. Her udder is full. And she's obviously pretty uncomfortable. Understandably so, ma'am. It's very windy today. But yeah. So this is but peach looks like almost due. They're pretty much due. Quite large. And Clover is looking very large. She's due in May. I think you, ma'am, have like three at least. Maybe four. Oh, we're getting up? No, we're adjusting. You poor thing. So I brought a tripod out here because um, we'll see if I can get the kidding on video. So I'm just in the goat barn and I put their or a tripod over there. I'm now realizing, which I didn't really think of before, we need a baby monitor in here, like 110% because I am walking out to check on this goat so often and even though the barn is like they're super close still I think that I would feel better if I had a baby monitor just just to look at it just to check um this morning I put down some fresh bedding this is all um old hay so this is all done up I took away their teepee because it's not that cold anymore plus I don't want hold on hold on Plus, I don't want her kidding inside the teepee, and then I can't reach her if I need to. So, um, we got hay and all that. We're leaving this pallet here just in case um, if we need to put up a partition to separate the goats. I'm hoping that Clover's not going to be a bully and that everything goes really well. Um, they are half sisters. They've they're like a bonded pair so um i'd prefer to leave them together but it will be a we'll see basis I just gave them a little snack some green grapes yeah is that good so good hi Hey, Shadow. That's it. You eat them all. You eat them all. Come on, Shadow. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come on, buddy. Just in the garage. 
gonna make up the horse's food for this evening. It's a little bit of a gray day today. We're gonna put most of these in the bucket. Just a couple. And then we're gonna soak that. Okay, so now those are soaking. We have our milk fridge already set up. It does have a freezer for goat milk soap. You do freeze this, uh, the milk before you use it. Well, at least I do in the recipe that I use. So I guess that's kind of helpful. Um, but yeah, so that extra fridge will be super helpful for this season with all the milk that we're gonna get. Now, no. Now going into kidding season as of like now, um, because I just checked Peach's ligaments, which is the tendons on the sides of the tailbone, like by the spot, the end of the spine, um, between her hips. And it's supposed to feel like tight elastic bands while you don't feel anything anymore. And the, usually it kind of looks like this kind of like a u-shape from the top of her spine being like up um at the peak and then um down by her hips being by my fingertips and now instead of it being rounded like this it's like sunken in so we're very very close um with that being said it's always good to have supplies ready so i put together a kid my goat kid, wow, this is a mouthful. My, my goat kidding kit, and it's here in the garage. So I'm gonna show you what's in it. So this is the tote bin. I do have another tote bin, it's right there, um, of more towels, but I'm sure you guys just don't wanna see towels. So uh, there's a whole bunch of towels here that I actually just got from a thrift store and I put them in here. Um, some baby bottles in case we need to bottle feed. We also have some, have some empty um, soda bottles. I have the nipples to go over these and that's easy to bottle feed. There's way more inside, but I have a couple here. Um, I have my stethoscope. This I actually have for the horses to actually check gut sounds mostly but um that's also good to have too a uh, fresh bag of needles syringes all that surgical gloves um paper towel uh, scissors soap iodine i bought a new thermometer to check their temperature the goat kid temperature i have rubbing alcohol i have this like nasal sucker like the aspirator just to get all the mucus and all the stuff out and it's like an easy to clean one so this lid just like pops off which is great um i have some gauze i have this is uh selenium and vitamin e um i'll touch on this in just a sec and then um i also have a big jar of molasses. Now here in Canada, I don't know of all of Canada, but I know for sure in Northern Canada, Ontario, we have a severe selenium and vitamin E deficiency in our ground. So forage animals such as goats that do eat the forage that grows um, out of the ground don't um, they can't abs they don't absorb any selenium and vitamin E and that's really important for proper bone growth proper development so we give them um, supplemental vitamin E and selenium you also give adult animals that too like we give it to the horses but it's a paste um, I'm sure I could give, like dose them out that stuff too but that's what they had specifically for goats so I have fresh syringes. I haven't even opened the package yet and sterile needles and such. Um, but yeah. 
So this is what it looks like. We have the iodine for uh, dipping the umbilical cord scissors just in case. Um, I do need to put my pocket knife in here just in case as well. Um, and the molasses is really good. This is just a jar. I have a big jug inside and then I just put some in a jar. Um, which is super good. I do have also bigger bottles than this, but just in case I have these temporarily and then I also have these big bottles. It will also depend on what the goats take. Some people who have been in goats way longer than I have uh, swear on baby bottles. Some people uh, swear on doing like a pop bottle with a regular um, like a nipple on it. So yeah. Well, I guess let's hope that Mama Peach just takes them and I don't need to bottle feed, but just in case, it's always good to be prepared. Um, but yes, so we are going to find that knife and put it in here so we don't forget. And yeah, so I think we're pretty much done. These are all like full size towels. They're not small. Um, it's beach towels, more towels. There's like a couple small rags on top here, just in case if I need them. But the rest of them are uh, thick towels. Yeah, we'll definitely be using these um, because when the babies are born, especially since there's multiples, you want to clean them off in between because mom is not going to be able to clean them off completely and babies get cold fast. So you got to be careful. But yeah. We gotta find that knife. Oh, sorry, I know the heater's loud. But I also got my farrier equipment. I got my nippers, um, a nice rasp, which I have to put the handle on it, and a hoof knife. Unfortunately, the farrier that I had for the girls, um, she no longer could service this area due to personal circumstances, which I totally get. Um, and I more use a farrier for convenience uh, because it's like kind of nice to just pay someone to do something that's more tedious for you. But um, since I only have, hey, 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 get down. Thank you. Since I only have two horses, um, I might as well just do it myself. So. Um, I bought the stuff to do it and have everything set up to do it, um, which, yeah, we got to do that tonight and get the horses, uh, all trimmed up, but found the knife. It's actually a utility tool, which is even better, um, but put that in there and we're all set. Okay. You ready to go see your goats? So yeah. They can swell up quite a bit. That's why I like feeding them once they're, so once they're soaked. I don't have anything. Sorry, ladies. I gave you, I gave you treats. Yeah, I gave you treats. You don't need any more. Silly girls. So I put Mr. Zeusy in his stall, so he's all set. Are you gonna stay in here, Mama? Yeah, you can stay in here. So this is what her hind end looks like. Um, yeah, so her vulva is very swollen and her udder is all filled. This is how it, it was looking last year when we, um, when we were milking her. So yeah. Peach never had a huge, huge udder. It's actually a clover that has a bigger udder, but, um, yeah. 
Maybe if she has a doling, we'll be able to improve her udder. We'll do her next with one of her daughters. But yeah, she's very, I think she's, I think she's pretty close. Um, this is my first goat kidding, so I could be completely wrong. Um, but she's usually a little bit more energetic. Uh, her belly's dropped. Her ligaments are like pretty much, if not completely gone. Um, vulva swollen, white discharge, udders full. So we're keeping a very close eye on her. At this point, again, I'm kicking myself for not already having set up a baby monitor. So I'm gonna order one. I don't know if it'll be here in time for you, but it will be in here in time for Miss Culver, so. At the bare minimum, um, the baby monitor is just a, a convenience to be able to check on her, but that's okay. It's nice to be able to come out here and give pets some love. Okay, so now we're headed back inside um, to continue our seed starting. So I just came back inside um we're starting some peppers so i started some shishitos which is really good uh this hybrid pepper and then i'm gonna start some spice peppers for like cayenne um but yeah just gonna set this all up and i guess i'll time lapse this So it's night time now, it's been an hour before we usually go to bed and they're getting their dinner, they're eating really well, Peach is looking pretty good. So I don't think it's going to be tonight, although she still has discharge and she's bagged up really nicely, um, there's no ligaments or anything. but might just still have a little bit to go. Good girl, Peachy. All right, good night, ladies.